Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. If you like to control different things on your car with your transmitter, things like your headlights, some additional lights and maybe also a winch, then you will need a transmitter with more than three channels. The problem is, transmitters with more than three channels are usually very expensive and pistol grip transmitters with more than four channels are very hard to find. Today I will show you how to convert a Flysky GT3B, which is a very reasonable three-channel transmitter, into a six-channel pistol grip transmitter by installing a new firmware. These are the things you will need. In the description box below you will find all the needed links. First of course a GT3B from Flysky, a six-channel receiver from Hobbyking, a STM8S discovery board, some old server wire, and a USB cable with a Type B plug on one side, like shown here. The first step will be to prepare the STM8S discovery board. There's an electrical connection between the two parts of the board. Because we will only use the upper part with the USB connector, we have to cut this connection. There are two ways to do this. You can simply cut off the lower part. A far better way will be to unsolder the two solder bridges marked with SB1 and SB2. On my board, these two bridges have already been unsoldered. Time for disassembling the GT3B. Open up the four screws located around the display. Because we will run the cable through the grip into the battery tray after reassembling, you will also have to unscrew these five screws on the back. To open up the housing, bring the antenna to a vertical position and carefully unmount the menu button with a screwdriver. Two more screws are hiding below this sticker, so carefully remove it and open up these two screws. Now you can remove the upper housing cover carefully. Also remove any remaining buttons. Remove the back cover now, but take care that you don't rip off the antenna wire. Our servo wire will be soldered in on this position. We will only use the first three pins, like shown here. Prepare the servo wire for soldering. The servo wire will be plugged in from the bottom of the circuit board and soldered in from the upper side. Slightly pull on your cable to see if it's soldered right. Now to something very important. You will later have to remember in which position you have soldered the servo wire in to correctly connect it to the discovery board. Take a picture before reassembling the GT3B. This will help you a lot later on. Here's a more detailed view of how the GT3B has to be connected to the board. 
You can now place the wire down the grip of your transmitter. The GT3B can now be reassembled. Don't forget to reinsert all the buttons. And put these six screws back in. Also reinsert the five screws on the back and put your menu button back on. First you will have to download the software for the STM8S discovery board. You will find the needed link in the description box below. Extract the two executables from the downloaded file. Then run sttool executable with admin rights. This will install the needed program. After that, also run the patch executable. You should now find these two program icons on your desktop. Find the link to the new firmware for the GT3B in the description box below this video and open it with your web browser. On this web page you will find different software versions for your transmitter. I'm using version 6.1 for both of my GT3Bs. You can download this version by right clicking and select save target as. Now connect your transmitter to the STM8S discovery board. After that, connect the board to your computer. Your transmitter will beep and the green LED will start flashing. Now run the program called ST Visual Programmer with admin rights. First we will have to configure the discovery board, so please select configure in the menu bar. You will now have to select the following values. Hardware, ST-Link, Port, USB, Programming Mode, Swim, Device, STM8S 105x6. Confirm your settings by clicking OK. We will need to load the new software for your transmitter now. So click on File, then Open, and select your downloaded GT3B firmware. If the file is loaded successfully, you should get this message. Now click Program in the menu bar and select Current tab. This starts the installation of the new firmware on your GT3B. You will see the progress on the screen, your GT3 will beep, and a red LED will start flashing. 
After successfully completing the installation process, the red LED stays on and you will get this message on the screen. You can now disconnect your transmitter from the STM8S. To check if the installation was successfully, turn on your transmitter and press the menu button until this screen is shown. This confirms the successful installation of software version 6.1. Last step will be to activate all six channels. Press the menu button until the firmware version is shown. Then turn the menu button until C3 is shown. Push the button and change the value from 3 to 6. Confirm your selection by pressing the menu button. The back button will lead you back to the menu. I have put a short description of how to run a 3 racing range in the description box for you. There you also will find all the needed links and there's a link to a nice user manual too. If you liked my video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a nice day and goodbye.